What's up, Virgo? This is Joy. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Hope everybody's having a wonderful and blessed day. Much love and light to you all. Today, we're going to be doing the Virgo April uh, general love reading. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading, a private reading for you specifically. So it may not resonate with every single person that watches it, but it might resonate for some of you guys, okay? So if it doesn't resonate with you guys, um, I advise you to check the other signs in your other houses to see if there's something, you know, there might be an important message left there for you as well. Okay. Keep in mind that this is all energy. So the energies can be exchanged, you know, between people and whatnot, you know, let's go ahead and get this party started. All right, Virgo. So the cards that we have here for you, um, unresolved issues. Okay. This talks about having childhood, um, memories from childhood, uh, having issues coping with things that may have happened to you. This also can refer to uh, having unresolved issues from uh, previous relationships as well. You know, uh, overall, this is just saying that somebody's not doing the necessary work that they that they need to do to heal from something from the past. You know, uh, and it may have kept them stuck and may have kept them in. You know, not truly being them, their, their true selves and, and allowing them to navigate. You know, this could be you or your person. It could be both of you guys because we do got mirroring mirror effect here. So it tells me that you might be uh, in connection with somebody who you guys are feeling the same thing. You're going through the same thing. You guys it's like like attract likes. You, you got unresolved issues and a person has unresolved issues. You know, it's like you guys are feeling the same exact thing, you know. Or maybe it's just one person that's going through the unresolved issues. But I know for a fact that you guys both have a lot of passion towards each other, okay? And this you feel this spiritual bond between each other, be, between each other. All right. You feeling a hot life fire. You know what I'm saying? You want the other person, the other person wants you. So that regardless if the other person is, is expressing it or not, or you are expressing it or not, there's this passion, passionate connection that is there between you guys that cannot be denied because you guys have this spiritual bond with each other. You can feel each other's energy as well, you know? So you feel that hot, fiery, passionate energy coming off of that person and they feel it coming off of you too, you know? This is like attracts like, you know? Maybe you both have things that you have to work on, you know? This person puts you on a pedestal as well, you know? So I'm, I'm also feeling this person may feel that they're not good enough for you right now. Maybe they feel like, you know... Maybe they feel inadequate due to something that may have happened in their childhood, you know? Maybe the father, the father didn't love them or didn't show love towards them or the mom didn't, you know? Or maybe they were they felt rejected or something like that. And maybe the, these feelings of rejection could be making them putting you on a pedestal that's so high that they feel that they cannot reach you, you know? And I feel that... With this person dealing with these insecurities that come from childhood, okay, that make them feel that they're not worthy, they're not good enough, it could be also triggering something with inside you and saying, okay, well, you know, you put me on this pedestal, you think I'm all that, you think I'm too good for you, well, maybe I am too good for you, you know, because it's like, what are you supposed to do if a person doesn't have enough confidence to approach you or a confidence to, you know, to act on their emotions or to see where this could go or to even speak to you, you know? That's kind of tough. It's kind of tough because there's nothing we can do about that. You know, if somebody puts you on a pedestal and they feel like you're too good for them, then what can we do about that, you know? You can try to try to say things to the person. You can try to uh, meet them halfway or whatever, but then that would be you doing something that's not, that may, may, might not serve your highest good, you know? I feel that you both may be coming into uh, this, what do you call it? Coming into this um, energy of healing, okay? So I do see that it's possible that you guys could be moving into a space of healing. You could be healing from some past things if you're dealing with past issues. If you are not dealing with past issues, it could be your person who's finally starting to heal. Finally starting to do that work. I feel for some of you guys, you guys are the catalyst to make this person heal, you know, or you guys are each other's catalyst to make each other heal, heal, you know, 
you could have your person on the pedestal. If that applies, they could have you on one too, you know, or one has one and the other one doesn't, you know, it could work a number of ways, but I do see healing coming for you guys. If you're not in that space right now, it could be possible that you guys are heading towards that space healing. Okay. And I feel, and I'm getting the whole vibe that this spiritual connection, that bond that you guys got. You were meant to meet each other. You were meant to to lift each other up. You know, you were meant to cause or be the catalyst for this healing so that, you know, these unresolved issues can turn into resolved issues, you know, that you're able to heal from that stuff that keeps you away from from having these uh, passionate spiritual bonds with other people, connections and relationships with other people that, that stops you from doing that. And you're able to heal and move on from it. OK, for some of you guys, this might be the only reason why you guys have crossed each other's paths. You know, for some of you guys, it may move on to something else. OK, but we see that. The lesson that was meant to be learned here or the the actions or the spark that was meant to be lit. OK, to incite this healing is going to happen. OK, it's going to happen because somebody's going to say, well, damn, you know, she's so beautiful. She's up there. He's so, he's so handsome. He's up there, whatever. And this person is going to, that is going to ignite this person, you know, to healing themselves so that they can raise themselves up to your love on your connection too, you know? So this might be something to where you guys may not have been together yet. For some of y'all, maybe y'all have, you know, I don't know, you know, that's, that's up whether or not that resonates with you, but let's see what else we got here. Yeah. So this is what I see happening. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. I see you guys sacrificing this connection for the greater good. Okay. You're putting your feelings aside. You're putting all that, that stuff aside. And I feel that, you guys are more so like selfless in this connection, right? To where you're saying, okay, well, you know, it's not moving towards, you know, this person doesn't think they're good enough for me, or maybe they're not speaking to me or whatever it is. So um, I'm going to quit holding out on it. I'm just going to move on, you know? And I feel that you moving on is going to trigger that healing in that person, okay? That's going to be the act that's going to be the catalyst, okay? To trigger your person to move forward in the healing because. You've gotten to the point, let's say if you were healing, healing, you excelled and you've moved on and you're like, okay, well, you know what? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and move on. Um, you can catch up to me later. Um, if you feel like it, if you heal and you come towards my way and I'm still single, then we'll talk about it then. But for now, um, I'm not waiting for you. You know, I'm not waiting for you. I am worth more then whatever it is that you've been giving me or whatever that, is, that you're not giving me, okay? If you're not giving me attention, I'm worth more than that. I'm a whole diamond and you're not really seeing my worth, my true worth, you know? You're not really giving me that. So, you know, um, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this to the, to the gods or whatever. I'm going to give it up to the ghost and I'm going to catch you later. Catch up with you later, bro, sis, whatever. I'm going to do me. I'm going to live my life. I have all the confidence I need, and I feel that your person is also going to be gaining more confidence once you leave, okay? Let's see. Let me get some uh, messages also from this Divine Feminine. It says, always hold yourself in high regard. You're worth it, okay? Yeah, don't wait for nobody. Don't put nobody above yourself. Don't let nobody make you feel that you're not a diamond, that you're not that, I was going to say that bitch, you know, <laughs> oh my God, I gotta... oh my God, that you're not that person, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> that you're not a king, that you're not a queen, you know, it says if it's okay if they don't want to see you win, win anyway, show them what you got. I see y'all bossing up, y'all leveling up, y'all doing y'all thing, you know? And if that person wants to catch up with you later, then they're going to catch up with you later. If you ain't, or if somebody don't already catch you, you know? I see I see you out here being a big fish, the golden fish, you know? Somebody that's going to make somebody happy. 
it's gonna bring somebody a lot of abundance and you know they they're gonna think that they they just hit the jackpot you know so you're not waiting on this person we got cherry you're moving forward you guys are moving forward okay you're not waiting on this person whoever this is to get it together you're moving forward and moving on to bigger and better things if they catch up with you they catch up with you if they don't then it is what it is nobody got time waiting around for nobody okay you guys have planted your seed and you're just like hey if it grows it grows if it doesn't whatever you know seven of pentacles energy here y'all tired of waiting you know you planted your seed and you're moving on Yeah, somebody's being indecisive here, but I know I see y'all not the ones that's being indecisive, you know? Y'all moving on. Up and out of here, you know? What else we got? We got the star. Yeah, this is that, that person still holding you in. This person still, I feel this once this person gets over, whatever they gets over, if there's somebody who's like lurking in the background or watching you from afar, whoever they are. They may build up the courage to see you, but I see you're headed for something. You're headed for some success, okay? You're healing yourself in this connection, and you are headed for success, okay? People are going to be seeing you. You're going to be, I'm seeing that you're stepping in the spotlight, you know? You're showing everybody what you got. People seeing what you got. People seeing that diamond who you are. You're looking beautiful. You're feeling good. You're being confident. People seeing your worth, your value, okay? And people approaching you, okay? You're headed for some sort of success in your life, okay? This situation is changing for you in a positive way. Now, I don't know what that person, what their situation is going, because I'm not worried about them. But your situation is changing for you in a positive way. OK, let's see. Yep, I see somebody else. Huh. Somebody else is still, that person is still going to be lurking around in the background. I feel that somebody's going to be heartbroken when you move on, you know? Because of competition. We got competition here and somebody being heartbroken. And somebody being still stuck to you, still thinking about you, still obsessed with you, still seeing you as that that superstar, that's somebody who's above them. So I don't know if your person's going to get it together, okay? They may see you dating other people, and they may be heartbroken. Yeah, Y'all moving on. Y'all moving forward, okay? You guys are not waiting for this person. You know, you're moving on. And I feel that that's what's going to take for this person. Now, I don't know what's going to happen going forward, but y'all do have a spiritual bond with this person, okay? So maybe they just need to get their shit together and then heal and then come towards you and maybe see what happens. But yeah, you're out there. Y'all you, going to be out here living y'all best life, you know? Moving forward, living your best life. I hear it for you. Moving forward and living your best life, okay? That's what I got for you guys, Virgo. If you like this, if it resonated in any kind of way, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Much love and light to you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and being here. Be safe and happy, all that stuff, okay? Much love and light to you guys. Ciao.